We're talking to the two champion teachers from Blacktown Girls High who were involved in collaborating together with their students to take on the Archibald Prize. We find that this program attracts innovative and creative teachers who are looking for a challenge, but of course you can't do it alone. So do you want to share with me how, this, how you went about collaborating, the two of you together, and then how the students all came together to make this magnificent artwork? Okay, I'll start. Um, so I decided I would take on the, the project because I had a year nine class and it was obviously their, their workload compared to year 12 or any other year would be less. And I thought one teacher that would really be happy on this ride with me would be uh, Miss Janine Timms, who is incredibly um, uh, great with um, ideas, developing, and uh, also just her the way we work together. We work together um, in other little things as well, but uh, I knew that we would work really well together on this project. And your area of expertise is? I'm a visual arts trained teacher. And Janine, you're? I'm actually um, food technology and visual arts. Right, excellent. So um, how did the girls come together? How did you coordinate this? When, was the, uh, when were the lessons done and when was the painting done? Um, we had to sit down and look at both our timetables and they actually never were on the same line. So we really had to think about how we were going to split the workload. Um, we created a Google Classroom where um, all the girls, all the students um, and the teachers would be able to access all the documents, any research work that we did and everyone that did any research had to upload onto this Google Classroom. Um, so originally uh, Janine and I sat down together, worked out our timetable and decided um, when we would find the opportunity to actually work together. So we actually got some time after school and a lot of the girls, most of the girls were able to stay back and also at lunchtime. So that was a little bit tricky to do, but what we decided to do was each of our girls had to have a role, a specific role. So the same um, roles would then be applied to the year 10 class as well. So there were minute takers, photographers, designers, um, what else did we have? Miss? We had um, ideas, just general researchers. Yep. We had um, um, people who did research for um, biographies, putting biographies together. Yep. Um, we had the bloggers. So the bloggers or the uh, website designers are from year nine. The animators were from year 10. But then they also collaborated as well in terms of the research work. So, yeah. Everyone had a, a specific role. I think that's how it, we managed yeah. it quite, quite well. In addition to that, we had our animators, um, who um, we had actually took them down to a studio and they recorded um, a rap that we had made together. And um, so that was really a um, eye-opening experience for them. Very confronting, but they did an excellent job. Fantastic. Mm. Um, with that. Um, we sought out um, a, a very techie year 10 girl in our, in our school that um, assisted our animators and um, produced the um, animation. So um, neither of you had had much to do with the cotton industry before the program? No. And what surprised you the most about the cotton industry? I think just really thinking and realising how much we rely on it. Um, so before we started teaching, I know me personally teaching the lesson and introducing it to the students I really I thought oh my goodness um, everyone has an item of clothing or something on their body that is made of cotton whether it's or oh, I said to the girls you know every morning you wake up you might clean your face you use a towel when you go to bed you you sleep on cotton sheets so when you get dressed you're wearing cotton underwear or bra or anything so everything is pretty much well everything we wear is almost pretty much cotton based so that was an eye-opener um, that that the agricultural industry wasn't something that came up in my mind as um, an industry that I would um, open up to students 
but um, it's a big industry, just like the health industry or the um, education industry. It's it's a it's a worthwhile industry, and the diversity that mm. students are able to um, move into careers within that industry. Yes, that's that was one um, one major eye opener as well. The the opportunities that existed for everyone. It wasn't just, and I think the the students re realised that as well. That it wasn't just a farmer wearing overalls and dirty, <laughs> you know, gum boots. It was about opportunities that took you far and beyond the farm. It wasn't just being at the farm. You could actually travel. You know, they looked at Casey when she came and, and noticed what she was doing. You know, she was traveling and she just arrived back from, I think it was Canada. But just being able to research and work with different industries and really connecting with other people on a greater scale, that was, yeah.